U.S. troops in Afghanistan are finding that winning the confidence of the people there involves more than just handing out food and going on patrol. Sometimes it's a matter of something simple. Our Becky Diamond joins us on the video ex uh, phone to explain that one. Becky, hello. Exactly, Miles. Well, it's been a very deadly year for U.S. forces here in Afghanistan. There have been 91 fatalities this year, nearly double the amount of U.S. forces died this year over last. And the U.S. is undertaking all sorts of efforts to keep its soldiers safe and also to stabilize the country. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Captain Scott Moore is using more than combat skills to win the war on terror in Afghanistan. We have the money ready, and as soon as they come up with a plan that everybody agrees with, we can uh, get people uh, to work and get these reservoirs uh, started. This 35-year-old Army Reserve captain is part of a civil affairs unit and is meeting with village elders to discuss a U.S.-funded $5,000 project to build a well in the district of Shwak. It's one of a series of projects across the country. The village sits close to a dangerous stretch of road that leads from Pakistan into Afghanistan and has been the site of many insurgent attacks. This village elder says that foreign fighters come into Afghanistan and disrupt security but they haven't had any Taliban-supported attacks in the last few months. Okay, looks like we're ready. The group travels to the site of the well. One reason for the improved security, according to the U.S. military, is projects like this one. The proposed well will allow villagers in this remote area to store water during the winter, and the project will employ local Afghans who will make $3 a day. They know as there's more peace, and more security, that more uh, reconstruction will, will occur. We focus our, uh, our projects on areas that might be a little more insecure in the hopes that security will come. We can leave. That's our goal to leave here. Captain Moore hoping to win the loyalty of villagers, a small step that could lead to a bigger victory in the war on terror. Thank you. This well, Miles, will serve 2,000 villagers, and I spoke to a group of locals around this area yesterday, and they all said the same thing. They hope that projects like this bring in more money for their local um, citizens and thereby improve security, improve the stability of the country. Also, projects like this help uh, establish a national federal presence, show people that their government cares about them, something the U.S. military hopes will also improve security here. Miles?